I've been proud to serve on the Insurance and Commerce Committee ever since this legislation started coming through. And one of the things that I always enjoy seeing is when uh, legislators from both sides of the aisle are able to come together, recognize an important need for legislation to be passed. Uh, the only uh, regret that I have uh, with the process is just seeing that we have to keep continuing to fight this and, and to clarify uh, loopholes that have maybe been discovered by those that are really bad actors in not taking care of come will be very important because I think it affirms every, the hard work that has been done not only by your association but by legislators to rein in health care costs especially as it relates to pharmacy uh, costs and uh, so to be able to have this affirmed shows that the legislature uh, was visionary, the Farmers Association was visionary in seeing that this was done and of course it's also important that this is something that while it started in Arkansas it really has had great influence. One of the next steps we're, and we're seeing this at the federal level an attempt to be able to drive down the cost of pharmaceuticals and uh, I know uh, the current administration is working on that. Uh, I think an executive order has been passed. Uh, so this legislation, the PBM legislation, helps supplement that and helps really impact, uh, I think. Mark Lowley, Arkansas treasurer and a former legislator who sponsored the state's voter ID law, has died from complications from a stroke. His office said he was 66 years old. Lowley's office said the former state lawmaker died Wednesday morning at a Little Rock Hospital. Lowerly experienced two strokes over the past several months, the most recent in June. His office announced Tuesday he was leaving office on September 30th. We are devastated, Chief of Staff Stephanie Bright said in a statement, losing Mark represents a huge loss for our entire staff. Mark was an incredible leader and a humble public servant, and this was unexpected. Lohali, a Republican, was elected state treasurer in November and took office in January. The treasurer oversees the state's investments and sits on several boards, including the boards of trustees for state employees and teacher retirement system. Before being elected treasurer in November, Lowry had several 10 years in a state house. Mark was a lifelong public servant and a dedicated advocate for Arkansas' children and families. Government Sarah Hark. Lowry sponsored a 2017 law that reinstated the state's requirement that voters show photo identification before being allowed to cast a ballot. A previous voter ID law had been struck down by a state Supreme Court, but justices in 2018 upheld Lowry's revision. Lowry also sponsored a 2021 law that removed the ability of people without identification to cast a ballot even if they sign an affidavit affirming their identity. Lowry experienced his first stroke in March and he spent several weeks after it rehabilitating in Arkansas before recovering with his daughter in Maryland. Lowry's office described the second stroke as more severe and said it led him to and his family to decide to announce his retirement. May he so rest in peace.